All right, slide rollers, it's your lucky day because this is my third trigonometry video I've made today. I'm going to make a couple of addenda to the trigonometry things. The first, um, inspired by the KNE slide roll manual for the log log duplex desi trig, a great manual, especially if you have uh, one of these 4181 slide rolls. Um, what I'm going to do first is a better solution for the hypotenuse of a right triangle where you know two sides. So their idea is you use this property of the tangent, that tangent of theta uh, should be 4 over 7 to first find the angle uh, by solving this in uh, proportion. So I'll set 7 on the d scale and 1 is at the index of the t scale, the tangent scale. So I'm going to align the 7 and the 1. Then to solve this proportion I'm going to come out to where the 4 is, okay, this 4, and look at the tangent scale, and the tangent is reading about 29.8, I read before, 29.8. Now you've got to write down that number or remember the 29.8, okay? Um, but the trick here is you don't have to move the cursor to do the second part where I use the law of signs, okay? So the cursor there is set at the 4, and what I want to do is I want to put sine of that 29.8 over the 4. So what I'm going to do is find the 29.8 on the S scale, which is about here, and then come out to the index of the S scale where I read the hypotenuse as usual. Um, and I read that before as about 8.05 and that's what it looks like again. Again, that last digit um, is usually a guess, especially on the five inch slide roll. Okay, let's look at another triangle. I'll just solve it really quick. So I picked the angle which should be less than 45 degrees, that's this angle. Um, then what I do is I find the, the larger number, the 3.5, here 35, then I'm going to align the index of the tangent scale. Okay, now the problem here is when I align the index of the tangent scale um, and then I look for the 9.4, the 9.4 uh, is off scale. So I should just align the other index of the tangent scale. Uh, then come out to the 9.4. then I see on the tangent scale that the angle um, is 15 degrees. So I just take that 15 degrees there, I remember that, and I set 15 degrees um, on the sine scale, which involves only moving the slide a little bit, right? So I set 15 degrees on the sine scale, I left the cursor, then I come to the end, right? because when I'm using the law of sines computation, um, at the index of the S scale is the hypotenuse length and that looks like about 35, 36.2. Okay, so there is a fast way to do that and it doesn't involve uh, flipping the slide roll over. Okay, let's make a little addendum to uh, what we said about sine. We never solved a triangle like this uh, where we had a right triangle, a hypotenuse known, and one of the other sides known. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pick this angle here, which is opposite uh, one of the known sides. Okay, I'll set this up for the law of sines. So what I'm going to do is set 51 with sine of 90, so the index of the S scale. Then what I'm going to do is look for the 35. And what should be on the S scale um, is theta, and theta here looks like about uh, 41 to 3, 43.2 or so degrees. Now what I'll do is I'll come to this other angle, which is the complement of theta. Okay, I'm going to leave the slide because I'm not changing the triangle. Uh, but what I'm going to do is come over to the other angle, the complement, so reading that um, with the red numbers on the S scale, so 40 
one, two, three, point two, not too far away. Um, then I'm going to read the result down on the bottom scale. Looks like 35, 36, 37 about. So 37. Um, now, that computation can be done on a slide rule with a P scale in a different way, and I actually have a video of that um, if you want to look at the video about the P Pythagorean scale. Uh, but that scale is rare, on, especially on American slide rules like this one. All right, good luck.